Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to make this little card go a bit faster. So first of all, we're going to do a little bit of tidying up here. We're going to go via the Adjustments tab here to Curves. And if you remember, the, the darker areas are down here and the lighter areas up here. And to make it lighter, you pull up. To make it darker, you pull down. This area down here is a little bit on the dark side. So we're going to pull it up a bit to make it a bit lighter. So we can see the greens a bit more. But that's made everything up here a bit bright. So we can take the light areas and pull them down again. There you go, it's a bit better. And we'll keep that with the merge. Now then, I want to select the car because I want to actually select everything else but the car, but I'll select the car and, and invert it. To, to that, I go to the selection brush here, make sure snap to edges is on, and then I'm going to paint around the car. Like this, just go around the edges bit at a time. Don't worry if it goes outside, because you can always address that later. Make sure things like that area there, for example, you can go to subtract and click to take that back. But I usually leave it on add and hold down the alt key and it has the same effect. So I can paint that back again and look for other areas that have gone a bit too far. Often need to reduce the size of the brush here. So I'll click in here. Often one click at a time rather than a painting it is it works. But don't worry about if it's not going quite right. Because the next thing we're going to do is going to go to refine. Which gives a bit more automation and intelligence in doing this. And we can do things like oh, look at that area there. That's definitely in. So we say that's the foreground. And just one click and it'll at a time and it'll pull that in. The main thing I want to do is actually to get this bit here and select between the spokes. So I'm going to go to Matt, which says you have a go at that. I want some clever stuff here. And then paint around here between the spokes. And there you go. If it's gone too far. No worries. Click on foreground. Bring the brush down with the right uh, left square bracket and say, make this foreground, please. There you go. And it's that's pretty good. There's a look, there's a wheel down there as well. This is a three wheeler car. Absolutely bonkers. There you go. That's all right. And keep that in there. Then we'll say apply. And what I'll do afterwards is I'll take the snap to edges off and then I'll go around and make some adjustments if there's anything to do manually and so on that'll do that is good enough now I'm going to go to select and invert pixel selection it doesn't seem to have done much but actually if you see the dotted lines around here that means it's selected everything so now I can go to filters blur and motion blur and this this move thing so I can change the radius here I can change the angle here as well. If it's not enough, I can type in here and type a bigger number, like say 200, which is pretty good. What I can also do is I can go out here. Notice the cursor's changed. I can click in here and I can just move it around and just get the effect that I want. So this is a kind of another easier way of doing this because you can literally do it while looking at the picture. There, that'll do then apply. Then select and deselect. One problem now is the wheel here. It's not going round. So we need to do another blur. So again we'll paint and we'll just leave it with the snap to edges off. Make this a bit bigger and paint inside. And generally when there's a curve, curves are often easier done from the inside. And this is easier one now. And we'll just select that there. Don't worry if it's not perfect. You can put it in and take it away and so on. That'll do. Because now I'm going to go to Filters, Blur and go to Radial Blur. And what Radial Blur does is we'll see if I turn that up there. But that doesn't look like a rotating wheel, does it? 
And that's because I'm going to put click on the right place here to see where the center is. So I'll put it right in the center there. And now I can move this here to get the right amount of blur. I don't want to overdo it. So I can just get a little bit of the spokes coming through and apply that. Then select and deselect. And there we go. We've made our racing car look like it's actually racing a bit. That's it and thank you very much for watching.